Welcome back to the Puncher's Chance podcast. Delighted to be joined by, well, the voice of boxing, in my opinion, Adam Smith. Adam, we're here, the Over Arena, Anthony Joshua, Daniel Dubois. How big is this fight? It's a huge event. Um, as Eddie and Frank have been saying, you know, possibly the biggest boxing um, show that's, that's been put on our shores. Um, it's terrific what, uh, what Turkey and, and the Saudi team have done. It's absolutely brilliant to to have fights of this magnitude back at Wembley. Um, you know, we've been here for Frotch Groves, we've been here for AJ against Klitschko, AJ against Bevekian, so many um, massive nights, Fury and White, of course. But this is different because, you know, top to bottom, it's just, yeah, you know, they're pick-up fights, they're fights that would headline any domestic show, really. Um, you've got all the promoters up there, from Frank to Eddie to Calla to Ben. Just need Big Izzy up there soon at GBM, and then we'll have a, a full house. Um, yeah, look, it's uh, it's cracking to see. Um, I love the fights. I love Boatsy and Hutchinson, Kakachi Warrington, I think it'll be a war. Smith Kelly's really interesting at 160 pounds. Tyler Denny, what a dream for him to fight Hamza Shiraz. Mark Chamberlain, uh, Turkey Al Sheik's favorite fighter, and one of mine as well. Um, really like it, and that's for the main event. I remember when they sparred back in Sheffield, so uh, we've come a long way, and I think they were always going to meet in a professional ring at some point. We've got an IBF uh, heavyweight title fight as well. Chance for AJ to become a three-time champion. Chance for Daniel Dubois to cement his uh, his place in, in boxing history, and he's doing so well, isn't he? Having come back at 26 and still young, um, so what a chance opportunity for him with Don Charles. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be a great night. Do you know, without the Saudi influence on boxing, do you think we would have ever seen a card like this with four of the biggest promoters in Britain working together? Well, you never know what's going to happen in boxing, do you? Yeah. Uh, there's been lots of different times in the sport. Times for Britain, times for America, times for Japan, times for Germany, times for Australia. Lots of different areas, but um, there's certainly been nothing like this I've seen in my lifetime. Um, what the Saudis have done is they've come in and they've, uh, they've changed the sport forever. They're giving... Uh, opportunities to fighters, they're giving dream fights for, for the fans. There's a huge amount of money on the table for the athletes, which is the most important thing. And of course, they're talking about this Saudi Pro League, which could change the face of boxing forever um, if they haven't done that already. So that could just be an, another step along the way. But they're giving, they're giving us these dream fights, these fairy tale fights, and uh, and they're doing it regularly. So we've got to love it while it while it's here. We've got to enjoy it. Exactly, exactly. Out of all the fights on the card, you look up there. Like you said, they're all well 50-50s really. Some of them as well. Which one stands out the most though? I, I look at the face off them, Boatsy and Hutchinson. That is an incredible fight, isn't it? It's a brilliant fight. I'd say yeah, Boatsy and Hutchinson of all the. Um, the other fights on the bill, and as I said, I won't call it an undercard because I don't think it really is. No. Um, but no, you've got to look at the main event. Joshua Dubois, um, huge heavyweight fight for Britain. Um, yeah, it's terrific, isn't it? You know, Dubois proved his soul after uh, beating Miller and um, Hergovic out in, in the kingdom, and, uh, and AJ's reborn under under Ben with his performances over Otto Vallon and, and Francis Ngannou. But Daniel Dubois a big step up from those. Um, yeah, he'll start a big favourite, AJ, because of fast form and experience and obviously the size of the occasion. He, he's It's bread and butter, as Eddie said up there. Um, but Daniel Dubois has really, really impressed me um, under Don Charles. So, uh, yeah, write him off at your peril. Um, really looking forward to the main event, but I'm looking forward to the whole night. Uh, I'm just enjoying boxing generally. It's nice being back amongst it. Um, I've been out for sort of 12 to 15 months for health reasons, and it's just nice being back around uh, around it at a changing time for the sport. So yeah, it's a massive card in America uh, on August the 3rd. Um, decent show in Barnsley that night as well, and uh, yeah, it's just some great fights in Britain and some big fights in Saudi to come towards the end of the year. Um, so yeah, look, I, I don't remember a time as exciting as this in boxing. Um, there's been other, there've been great moments, but a sustained time, it's, it's fabulous. And this fight, the main event now live up to it, do you believe? I hope it does. Um, they both can punch. Um, they both got phenomenal jabs. Um, they can both fight. They both prove that they can deal with adversity um, and they know each other. Yeah. All the ingredients are there. Exactly. Let's hope so. Let's move away from the card. GBM, this Saturday. Huey Fury, is he still fighting? Um, listen, I don't know, I've been here, so I, I need to go back up to Coventry and find out what's going on, but 
All I know is that Danny Quartermain and uh, Niall Barry are in terrific fights. I think it's co-main events. Um, we'll have to see what the rest of the card looks like. Things change in boxing, as you know, daily. Um, so I need to go back up to Coventry. Um, but yeah, look, look forward to... I mean, Huey's been great for us at GBM. Um, you know, he's been great to see him back in the ring. Um, we've got some really good fighters coming through. The Irish are great, Kieran Malloy and Tin and Bradley. Um, so they're in action. And uh, yeah, Noel Berry and uh, Danny Quartermain is um, sort of top of the bills, I guess, together. Uh, both undefeated, both really, really exciting. I think particularly for me, Noel Berry, I think he's a really, really uh, good fighter and I think he's going to go a long way in the sport. So yeah, look, we've got a great new deal with his own. Um, excited about that for GBM. Um, we just got to learn, we've got to keep going and uh, it's step by step. You know, we've got some momentum behind us, but we're not near this big stage yet. So, uh, you know, it's all about getting our fight night shows right on the night. And I'm sure Coventry will be another really good one. I know you probably won't give it to me, but could you give me sort of a prediction what happens in the main event? Have you got Joshua or have you got Dubois? Um, as I said, I think AJ is a big favorite going into it uh, and rightfully so, you know, he's, uh, he's proven himself at, uh, at top level for a long, long time now. Um, but, you know, he lost twice to Alexander Rusi, he lost to Andy Ruiz, you know, he's not uh, he's not invincible. Um, but I like his form at the minute and I like his uh, relationship with Ben Davison. Um, having said that, I spent a lot of time around Daniel and Don, pretty close to Don Charles, uh, you know, known him for a long, long time. You know, he used to, tra he used to uh, train AJ back in the day. Uh, so look, everyone knows everybody in this sport. Um, I'm not going to give you a prediction because I don't know if I'm calling the fight yet, but um, I'll certainly say AJ's favourite going in, but this is heavyweight boxing. Philip Hergovic is a big favourite against Daniel Dubois. I know what happened. So uh, nothing would surprise me with big punches like that in the ring. Adam, I appreciate your time. No and it's brilliant to see you back Thank in you. boxing. Appreciate